Everybody doing good today. Oh, yeah. mm, some of you looking kind of mean. Come on today. Come on today and lift up your praise to him. All right. Uh, members, just talk back to me here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Bless you. Bless you. Now, are there any visitors that are here? You're not a member of this church, but you're present. I see you. I see you. God bless you. You're welcome here at the New Covenant Church. Come on, members, let's wave at our friends who are here today. So I might as well just say it. Use your hands one more. Come on, y'all, use your hands and praise the Lord. You may be seated. Amen.
glad you have your Bibles. Today I'm going to get deep. Mm, I'm going to get deep this morning. And I trust that you will get deep with me. Amen. And praise the Lord. All right, let's see. I'm going to have several scriptures here. Several scriptures here. How about Romans? Y'all already got it? Romans chapter. Now I'm looking for, okay, I got it. I got my notes. Amen. Romans 6, 23. No, back that up. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 and 24 all right everybody got that right there all right we'll be reading it together ready set read for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. All right, can we go to this next chapter? All right, Romans 6 and verse 23. Romans 6 Verse 23, let's read. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, I want to talk today about the theology of life. Y'all didn't hear that, so let me say it again. <laughs> the theology of life. You may be seated right there. You may be seated right there. Amen. I want to focus our attention on what many individuals speak about as it relates to what we know in relation to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Let me begin with the word theology. Somebody holler back at me and say theology. As I understand it, theology is the symptomatic study of the nature of the divine. And uh, as you and some of you will take notes, it will help you recognize what the Bible is saying to us in many given places. Theology, again, is the systematic study. Those of you who go to Sunday school, you haven't dropped out yet. Amen. <laughs> Those of you who study your Bible 
can hear the word saying, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman or a workwoman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And I trust that at some point you will become a student of God's word. Remember again, theology is the systematic study of the nature of the divine. More broadly, of religious belief in many churches, and that includes the New Covenant Missionary Baptist Church. There are many individuals who have no knowledge at all concerning God's word our relationship to him and the knowledge of himself. This is more broadly of what our religious beliefs are. It is taught as an academic discipline and it draws us in many universities, typically and seminaries. It occupies itself with the unique content of analyzing the supernatural. Oh, I did, didn't I, did I say, you don't have to say amen. Okay, just, just, just follow me here. You don't have to say amen at all, but I want you to hear what I'm saying in relation to what we are knowing in the study of God. Again, our religious beliefs are drawn into the supernatural. And in fact, we are asking and we are seeking to answer the question of revelation. Revelation pertaining to the uh, word of God and God himself. It is what we know and what we understand in our relationship with God. Ultimately, he, he brings us to the knowledge of what I call deathology. Let me repeat that again. It is what I call deathology, understanding uh, that all of us are going to come uh, to the end of life's journey and the knowledge of what we know, where we are going, and ultimately where we will exist forever and ever. Now, I know some of you don't like it when I speak about death, 
Many of you don't like it when I speak about the end of life's journey. But I say to you, it is necessary that we know what coming to the end of our journey is. It fits into what some who have already gone to glory understood that this world is not our home. And one day we will all be called from what many of our people call the end of life's journey. Where are we going? What are we going to be doing? What will be in our relationship with Jesus Christ and God our Father. And so the first point that I'm going to give you is again what I call deathology. What do you really know? about the end of your life's journey. The need for salvation should be understood by those who give themselves to Jesus Christ. Deathology is undergirded by the understanding of the need for salvation. Let me see, can I get a hand, a raising of the hand for everyone before my voice who knows that they are saved? I need to see that. I need to see that from everyone who knows that you are saved by the power divine, saved to new life sublime. How many of you know life now is sweet and my joy is complete? Somebody should have caught it on uh, and can say it with me. I'm saved. I am saved. Thank God I'm saved. Those of you who cannot join us, I want to share with you the need for salvation. We hear this voice in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23 and 24. I learned both of these verses when I was in uh, what then we were calling Sunday school. And then I learned more about it in vacation Bible school that brought me to an understanding of the need for salvation. Verse 23, for y'all have sinned. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Let me say that for all have sinned. 
Am I right right there? I ought to have you say, by looking at somebody, that means you and me. Amen. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us have come in our lives to this place where we recognize we have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Verse 24, being justified. That's what God does freely by his grace. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Lord, through the redemption that is Christ Jesus alone. And that's why we preach so much about a hill far away stood in all a rugged cross. Our sins were taken to that cross. Our sinfulness was taken to that cross. Jesus Christ, by the grace of God, through the redemption that is Christ Jesus. I want somebody to know you didn't do it by yourself. Help me preach some of you who know that. You did not save yourself. We thank God because God gave his only begotten son. And my Bible still say, and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have. Come on, somebody, everlasting life. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption. Look at Jesus. <laughs> that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our salvation brings us to the recognition of our deathology, knowing what God has done for us. The need for salvation. And listen, if there are any of you who are here and you don't know Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, if you have never confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart, you need to know him for yourself. Chapter 6 of Romans, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death. Am I right right there? But the gift of God, come on, somebody, you know this, is eternal life. Somebody help me say thank you, Lord. The wages of sin uh, is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And the means of salvation is connected what I read to be called Christology. Jesus paid it all. <laughs> all to him I owe. My sin, your sin, has left a crimson stain. 
somebody ought to be getting happy now. But he washed it right and white as snow. We believe that. We understand that. We know that. And we are grateful for that. The means of salvation called Christology has us looking at that hill far away where the blood came streaming down. Wash us white as snow changed us from who we were to who we are and through it all we give God the glory we allow him to come before us we worship him we glorify him we thank him we bless his holy name. If it had not been for Jesus, I'm feeling like it now, y'all. I said, if it had not been for Jesus, where would we be? Glory, glory, glory to his name. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where from cleansing from sin I cried. And I can shout it out, glory. Somebody ought to help me say glory to his name. I feel something here now. Something getting a hold of me now. Thank you, Lord, for providing us with the means of salvation. I remember hearing my daddy put this in one of his sermons, the substitutionary. Oh, yeah, I remember. I can hear him right now. If you are saved, you recognize the substitutionary death of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I like that. Substitutionary, he took our place. Substitutionary, he took our sin. Substitutionary, he changed our lives. Can somebody talk back to me and say substitutionary? I also heard my daddy say something like this, ignominious. Yeah, I heard him say that. You know, my daddy uh, went to college. My daddy went to Howard University, and he came to the knowledge of what is called ignominious. He taught us that the knowledge of God was in what Christ did for us. And then I heard my daddy close that sermon and all he said was, Jesus is sufficient. Do I have a witness here? I heard him say, Jesus is sufficient. And I think I heard him say, you don't need no handkerchief. All 
on your head. You don't need nothing else that can wash all of your sins away. Jesus Christ is sufficient all by himself. Do I have a witness? Whatever you need, he will supply. Whatever you need, Jesus by himself is able. Anybody here know he'll rock your world. <laughs> Do I have a witness here? Anybody here know he'll walk with you. He'll talk with you. He'll tell you that you are his own. And with the joy you share, even as you tarry there, none other has ever known. He's sufficient. He's sufficient. He's sufficient for it all. I got to quit this now, but my soul is getting happy. I got to close this Bible up, but I'm thanking him on the inside. Hallelujah. Let me close by telling you about ultimate salvation. I said ultimate salvation. Thank God for what I call eternalology. Somebody didn't hear me. I, I, I got to say it again. Uh, I've learned uh, that there is something called eternalology. Let me give it to you, and I'm going to quit. But number one, I recognize I am saved. I need somebody who knows uh, that you uh, are saved. Do I have a witness here? And I thank God that I am saved. Yes, I'm saved when I go to bed at night. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm saved when I wake up early in the morning. Do I have a witness here? I am saved by his power. I think I'm talking again to some saved folk. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to somebody that knows you've been to the water. Yeah, you've been baptized. Do I have a witness here? You have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Come on, talk to me. You know he saved you. I wish I could get a witness from somebody that can say it like this. On a Monday, he saved me. On a Tuesday, he saved my soul. On a Wednesday, I was saved. Do I have a witness? On a Thursday, somebody can say, I'm saved. Do I have a witness? On a Friday, I 
I got saved? Do I have a witness? Somebody said on a Saturday, he saved me. I'll close that when I tell you, for me, it was on a Sunday. Do I have a witness? I came to Jesus just as I was. I was weary. I was sad. But I found in him a resting place. And he had made me glad. Come on, somebody. Join me. Talk back to me, uh, say I'm saved, and I am uh, being saved. I need to tell somebody uh, I'm not what I ought to be, but I thank God uh, I'm not uh, what I used to be. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, say I come short I mess up I fall down anybody know when you fall down what happened you get up because God will pick you up God will turn you around God will place your feet on solid ground. I'm being saved in Christ Jesus. Do I have a witness? Don't look at me like you all of this and all of that. You need to admit it. You're being saved. God is working on you. God is picking you up. God is giving you another chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lastly, one of these days, I will be saved. Do I have a witness? That's why I like to say it like this. Just as soon as my feet strike Zion, I'm going to lay down my heavy burden. Shout. I said shout. I said shout. And tell the story. Hallelujah, 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 over there, over there, I'll tell him, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and when we all get to heaven, hallelujah, what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. Do I have a witness? We gonna shout, we gonna sing, we gonna praise, we gonna give him glory, glory, glory. Can anybody shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. 
glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel you. I feel you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for me. Thank you, Jesus.
for joining us in worship today. You can view all of our services live each Sunday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. via our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and our church website, www.newcovenantmbc.com. You can also view our services each Sunday morning on Chicago Cable Channel 25 at 10 o'clock a.m. and at 11 o'clock a.m. If this ministry has impacted your life in any way, we ask that you consider partnering with us financially. You may give via the Givelify app, by mail, Post Office Box 198217, Chicago, Illinois 60619, or by bringing your donation to the church at 754 East 77th Street here in Chicago. We thank you for your support in this manner. And as always, we love you and we are praying for you. Be blessed.